A short rate model, in the context of interest rate derivatives, is a mathematical model that describes the future evolution of interest rates by describing the future evolution of the short rate, usually written, the short rate. Under a short rate model, the stochastic state variable is taken to be the instantaneous spot rate. The short rate, then, is the interest rate at which an entity can borrow money for an infinitesimally short period of time from time. Specifying the current short rate does not specify the entire yield curve. However no arbitrage arguments show that, under some fairly relaxed technical conditions, if we model the evolution of as a stochastic process under a risk-neutral measure then the price at time of a zero coupon bond maturing at time with a payoff of 1 is given by where is the natural filtration for the process. The interest rates implied by the zero coupon bonds form a yield curve or more precisely, a zero curve. Thus specifying a model for the short rate specifies future bond prices. This means that instantaneous forward rates are also specified by the usual formula particular short rate models. Throughout this section represents a standard Brownian motion under a risk-neutral probability measure and its differential disambiguation needed, where the model is log-normal, a variable is assumed to follow an ornstein ulenbeck process and is assumed to follow one-factor short-rate models following other one-factor models where a single stochastic factor, the short rate, determines the future evolution of all interest rates, other than Rendleman, Barter and Holy, which do not capture the mean reversion of interest rates. These models can be thought of as specific cases of ornstein ulenbeck processes. The Vasicek, Rendleman, Barter and Circle models have only a finite number of free parameters and so it is not possible to specify these parameter values in such a way that the model coincides with observed market prices. This problem is overcome by allowing the parameters to vary deterministically with time. In this way, wholly and subsequent models can be calibrated to market data, meaning that these can exactly return the price of bonds comprising the yield curve. Here, the implementation is usually via a short rate tree, see lattice model hashtag interest rate derivatives. Merton's model explains the short rate as where is a one-dimensional Brownian motion under the spot martingale measure. The Vasicek model models the short rate as, it is often written. The rendleman barter model explains the short rate as. The Cox-Ingersoll-Ross model supposes, it is often written. The factor precludes the possibility of negative interest rates. The Holy model models the short rate as. The hull white model, also called the extended Vasicek model, posits. In many presentations one or more of the parameters and are not time dependent. The model may also be applied as log normal. Lattice-based implementation is usually trinomial. The black derman toy model has for time dependent short rate volatility and otherwise, the model is log normal. The black Harazinski model, which is log normal, has the model may be seen as the log normal application of Hull White. Its lattice based implementation is similarly trinomial. The Calate Williams Fabozzi model has the short rate as a log normal analog to the Holy model, and a special case of the Black Derman toy model. This approach is effectively similar to the original Salomon Brothers model, also a log normal variant on Holy. Multi-factor short-rate models Besides the above one-factor models, there are also multi-factor models of the short-rate. Among them the best known are the Longstaff and Schwartz two-factor model and the Chen three-factor model. Note that for the purposes of risk management, to create realistic interest rate simulations, these multi-factor short-rate models are sometimes preferred over one-factor models as they produce scenarios which are, in general, better, consistent with actual yield curve movements. The longstaff schwartz model supposes the short rate dynamics are given by, where the short rate is defined as, the Chen model which has a stochastic mean and volatility of the short rate, is given by, other interest rate models. 
The other major framework for interest rate modeling is the heath jarrow mortine framework. Unlike the short-rate models described above, this class of models is generally non-Markovian. This makes general HJM models computationally intractable for most purposes. The great advantage of HJM models is that they give an analytical description of the entire yield curve, rather than just the short rate. For some purposes, this can be a big simplification. The Cox, Ingersoll, Ross and Hull white models in one or more dimensions can both be straightforwardly expressed in the HJM framework. Other short-rate models do not have any simple dual HJM representation. The HJM framework with multiple sources of randomness, including as it does the Brace, Gatorek, Musela model and Market models, is often preferred for models of higher dimension.